Um, Melissa Blanford, the director of the Equal Opportunity Department, and I'm very excited to um, welcome you all down here and have you here uh, for this exciting event, the unveiling of the new disability um, accessibility icon for the city of Phoenix. Um, this icon is a new icon, a reimagining of how someone who is disabled is envisioned by the city of Phoenix. And through the use of this icon at our facilities and with our partners uh, in the community, like Cigna, like Gompers, um, this is a way to reimagine how the disabled community is seen, not just by the city of Phoenix, but by the uh, city as a whole, and hopefully beyond that um, as we continue with our outreach efforts. So again, thank you all for being here, and I would like to now turn this over to the City of Phoenix, Mayor Stanton. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Elisa. Thank you very much. This is a great day in the City of Phoenix. Yes, this icon better represents the people of this, uh, of this uh, community. Uh, our disabled community are some of the most active people and leaders that I know. This new icon, which represents action, movement, heading in the right direction. In fact, you should probably have not only a person who happens to be in a wheelchair moving forward in the right direction, but knowing Jennifer Longdon and some of our other leaders uh, of the Mayor's Commission on Disability, they should have a cell phone on their hand. What else should they be doing? You know, walking an animal, everything uh, that is action uh, oriented. This icon is a great step forward. So today marks a celebration of our city's commitment to being on the cutting edge in the movement to make cities more accessibility friendly. This accessible icon project transforms the original international symbol of access into a much more active, engaged image. The new icon shows a person in a much more active manner, shifting the focus away from someone sitting in a chair to an action-oriented individual. This one piece of the larger effort to change perceptions of many within our society have of people with uh, disabilities. Importantly, we want to make this symbol as accessible for the public to use as possible. So this icon is now part of the public uh, domain. And we have many other community partners who have already agreed to use this icon. This icon shouldn't just be utilized by the City of Phoenix or other governmental entities. It needs to be used by everyone, schools, businesses, churches, nonprofits, everywhere where you see a disability icon, we are asking, no, we're demanding, that this new action-oriented icon uh, be uh, utilized. I want to thank my partner on the city council who is here, Councilman Jim Waring. Good to see you, uh, Council Waring. Thank you for being here and being so supportive. And we want to thank a great Phoenix company for being first. They even beat us to the punch, darn it. Uh, <laughs> Cigna is not only a great healthcare company, they're a company that's embedded in this community. Not only do, are they good with philanthropy, but their employees are out there involved in so many wonderful community activities. So Cigna has already adopted this icon in its new facility up in North Phoenix. Thank you, Cigna, and to all the other partners who will join this very important uh, effort. In Phoenix, we are changing perceptions in a positive direction. This new icon is an important step in the right direction. Thank you for inviting me, allowing me to say a few words, and we're gonna, in just a few moments, after a couple other speakers, unveiling the new icon on the street and on our uh, street signs. Thank you so much. Alyssa, Alyssa. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Ed Kim, the Cigna Arizona president, to come up and make a few remarks. Um, as the mayor said, Cigna has been a partner with the city of Phoenix on this from the very beginning, and in fact, we're instrumental in bringing it to the city's attention that there was an alternative um, that has now been adopted. So, uh, Mr. Kim, thank you. Good morning. Mr. Mayor and, and honored guests, it's on behalf of Cigna, it's my privilege to partner with the city uh, in this accessibility project, and it is a it is really a forward-thinking uh, initiative. A couple of months ago, we adopted it in our uh, large corporate center um, up in North Phoenix. And in fact, uh, Jen and Peter were there to, to help us along and, and really put a stamp on that project. And why, why is Cigna interested in this? Because our mission is to improve the health and wellness and the sense of security of all of the people that we serve. And this is there could be no better icon to really reflect that kind of commitment. Um, Cigna is proud to be a corporate citizen of the city of Phoenix, and 
on behalf of the 3,000 employees here in Arizona, uh, in the greater Phoenix area, we salute the mayor and the city in adopting this forward-leaning uh, forward uh, view of how we should focus on abilities of the disabled. Thank you very much. All right, and then our third and final speaker, um, I'd like to introduce Ms. Jen Longden, the former chair of the Mayor's Commission on Disability Issues, who has also partnered with the city in promoting the effort and worked with us to help get this new icon um, adopted by the city. Does that still work? Awesome. Well, the problem with going last is that all the great things have already been said. So I'm just going to leave it with thanking not only Cigna, but the city for making this important change. I'm grateful that Cigna uh, saw this advantage and led the way in this vision. And I'm grateful to all of our businesses and to our city for recognizing that any investment in human dignity is worth it. So that's what this represents is an opportunity to show that everyone is capable, able, forward moving, and engaged in our community. So thank you very much. Two, three. Nice.